Our body is the most beautiful creation in the world. The body has special parts which allows us to observe and understand the world around us. And these body parts have unique function that works and helps us to know what is happening around us. There are five ways that we can do. Through sight with our eyes, through smell with our nose, by hearing with our ears, by tasting with the use of our tongue, and by touching or feeling, and that's with the use of our skin. And how do we call these body parts? Hello kids and welcome to another fun and learning episode with me, Teacher Danny. Now for today's episode, we will feature 5 special body parts that helps us see things, smell the things around us, to hear what is happening in our environment, distinguish the taste of the food that we are eating, and feel the things around us. Now, how do we call those body parts? Do you know the answer? We call these body parts as our sense organs. Now, for today's episode, we invited some brilliant young guests and we will ask them how their sense organs become helpful to them and we will also test if their senses are working properly so are you ready to get to know these adorable kids meanwhile so let us ask our first guest about the first sense organ in our list, the eyes, and let's try to call him first. Is he ready now? Okay, so hello dear guests and thank you for answering our call. Now please state your name first to our so our viewers would know you. Hi teacher Danny. I'm Jadrian Merji Flores. Hello, Jadrian, and we are very glad that you are here with us today and you can see us clearly. Now, what sense organ are you using to see us? Eyes. Eyes are used for seeing. Jadrian, now we would like to test how good your eyes are. I'll be showing pictures here and then kindly tell to the viewers how you describe the following objects and based from what you see now simply describe them are you ready so here we go here are here are the pictures the sky is blue good job and how about the next picture the roses are red great okay thank you very much now aside from seeing are there other uses of eyes that our viewers must know? Eyes are used for reading. Eyes are also used for watching. Wow! Your eyes are the best, Pedrian. And now, I see a bright future in those eyes. So bye for now, Pedrian. Thank you, sir, Danny. Bye-bye! So that is our first guest. He lively explains how he uses his eyes well and now we will contact our next guest and we will try to ask her about the next sense organ in our list is she already in the line hello can you hear us hello teacher danny i am gabriel nadine hello gabriel now we could hear your wonderful voice from our speakers now what organ do you use to hear us 
So, kindly tell us more about this organ. Ears. Ears are used for hearing. Ears are also for balance. Wow, that's good to hear and know. Now, our viewers would like to know, well, if you use your sense organ or you use your hearing organ properly. Now, we are going to play music. Then, kindly describe this music for them. And oh, I just fall in love again. Just one touch and then the heavens every time. The music is soft to hear. It is good for the ears. Cool. How about this one? The noise is loud. It will hurt my ears. Ah. All we can say now is wow. You are truly amazing, Gabriel. So that ends our call. Uh, we will call you soon, Gabriel. Bye-bye. Thank you, Teacher Danny. Bye-bye. So that's our second guest. And now, for the third adorable kid, we'll try to call him to describe our... Hello. Hello, J. Rose. Hello, Teacher Danny. I am Jeros Torres. It looks like it fares so well. You can smell it from here, Jeros. Now, what organ helps you to smell things? Nose. Nose is used for smelling. Nose is also used for breathing. Well, that's good. Now, our viewers would like to challenge you, Jeros. Now, we are going to. Uh, show you pictures of objects and kindly describe to them how this object smells. The flower smells fragrant. The garbage is odorous. That's cool. So how about this one? The perfume smells good. The old room smells Wow, your nose are the best, uh, J. Rose. Now, thank you very much for accepting our thank invitation. You, thank you, Danny. So, bye, bye for bye. now, J. Rose. Thank you. For the tongue, we will be calling two young kids. Picture Danny. Hello, Dennis. I am Dennis August Velasco. Hello, teacher Danny. I'm Ezekiel George. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Ezekiel. Now, I know that you both love to eat healthy food just like me. And that's why I and our viewers would like to know what organ helps you in tasting the food. Let's start first with Dennis. Ten. Is used how, for tasting. Food. How about you, Ezekiel? We use our tongue teacher. Very good. And now for the challenge, we will be posting pictures of food and dishes. Then tell to our viewers how this food tastes. Alright, so here are our pictures. The banana tastes sweet. The pineapple is sour. The seafood is salty. The coffee is bitter. The apple tastes sweet. The calamansi is sour. The fish is salty. The ampalaya is bitter. Oh, wow, both of you are really amazing kids, Dennis and Ezekiel. Now, thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you, Teacher Danny. Bye! Thank you, Teacher Danny. Bye-bye! Bye for now. Bye-bye! Now, the last organ in our list is the skin. Now, let's see how our last guest uh, would accept this challenge. So, let's try to follow the first. Hello Mary, this is Teacher Danny. Hello Teacher Danny, I am Mary. 
you are so beautiful, Mary, and you have fair skin tone. Now, aside from making you beautiful, are there other uses of skin that our viewers need to know? Skin is used for healing and touching. That is great, Mary. And with that, we have a challenge for you. Now, can you describe the following objects that we have here using the sense of touch? Ready? Go! Pillows are soft. The table is hot. The wall is rough. The floor is smooth. The cup is hot. The bottle is cold. Wow, you are both you. beauty and brains, Mary. Thank you for accepting our challenge. Bye-bye. A few moments later. Now that's our wrap, guys. Now thank you for joining us in another adventure here in fun and learning with me, Peter Danny. And we learned how important these sense organs are. Now without these sense organs, it will be difficult to enjoy the things around us, right? Excellent. So again, this is Teacher Danny. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun and learning activities and episodes. And have a good day. Bye-bye.